Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn how to find the x and y intercepts of an equation or a curve. Okay, so as always we're going to start with an example. Here we're going to have this example. y equals x cubed minus 4x. Okay, so let's first find the x-intercept. Okay. way you find the x-intercept is actually by setting y equals 0 in the original equation. So if we set y equals to 0, we get x cubed minus 4x equals 0. And now we just have to solve for x. So wherever x, wherever this equation is uh, satisfied is actually the x-intercept. Okay? So we can factor out an x here. And then, furthermore, sorry, furthermore, we can factor this into x plus 2, x minus 2. And this x was just brought down from there. Right? So if you're not familiar with factoring, you should definitely watch a video on factoring in my tutorial videos. Okay, So here we actually are going to have three solutions to this. We're going to have x equals 0, x equals negative 2, and x equals positive 2. Right? The 0 coming from that part the negative 2 coming from that part and the positive 2 coming from that part. Okay, So these are our x, our y-intercepts. Okay, So to get the y-intercepts again we set x equal to 0 in the original equation. Now let's get the y-intercepts. And there may be one or more always of these things, but for a y-intercept you're going to only have one if the function, if, if the equation is a function. Okay? But we, we won't get into that until a little later in calculus. So let's just get the y-intercepts by setting this time x equal to 0. All right? So if we set x equal to 0, we just get y equals 0 cubed minus 4 times 0 which is just y equals 0 minus 0, y equals 0. So our y-intercept actually is just at y equals 0. Okay. So now, if we were to plot a couple points in this equation, this is what the curve would look like. I've already sketched it. It looks like this. And now that we've done all the work, before even looking at the curve, we can see where this curve is going to cross the x-axis, namely at 0, that's one x-intercept, negative 2, negative 2, that's another x-intercept, positive 2, and you see that. So we have all three of our x-intercepts, and we're confirmed with the, gra with the uh, graph. Now let's check for the y-intercept and let's see where does this f uh, equation cross the y-axis. Well, it crosses at y equals 0. So this point actually turns out to be the, an, an x-intercept and the y-intercept. Okay? And if we were to write these points out, if the question required us to write these points, then the x-intercepts would be 0, comma and we put 0 into the original equation and we get 0 negative 2 comma if we put negative 2 in here negative 2 cubed would be 8 minus 4 times negative 2 which is 8 so we'd get 8 minus 8 0 
and if we put positive 2 we would get 8 minus 8 again and we would get 0. So those are our Cartesian coordinates for our x-intercepts. And for our y-intercept we'd have to put 0 for y in here and if we solve we'd see that x would have to also be 0. And these again are just, uh, just another way to point out the x and y intercepts, this time in Cartesian coordinates, this way. Okay, So we've seen three ways to answer this question. And the point is that x and y intercepts are found by setting the opposite variable to 0. If you want the x intercept, you set y equal to 0, and then you solve for x. And if you want the y intercept, you set x equal to 0, and you solve for y. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe and check out the other tutorial videos on my channel. Till next time, have a great day.